Apple today released macOS Monterey 12.1, the first major update to the macOS Monterey update that initially launched in October. And so in this video, we're gonna go over some of the new features and changes that you can expect to see in macOS 12.1. The biggest feature that was added was SharePlay. Now, we did just do an entire video highlighting SharePlay on iOS. You can check that video out by clicking the card up here. And it's essentially the same for Mac OS, but for those who need a refresher, SharePlay allows Mac owners to watch TV, listen to music, and play games with friends and family members over FaceTime. Using SharePlay, all kinds of apps integrate with FaceTime, and content is synced for all people who are part of the FaceTime call. You can actually listen to music and access shared playlists, watch sync TV shows and movies together with the TV app, work out together with Apple Fitness Plus, and even share your screen with friends and family for things like group trip planning or device troubleshooting. macOS 12.1 also brings support for the new Apple Music voice plan that costs $4.99 a month and is designed to work with Siri. Siri will suggest music based on your listening history, your likes, your dislikes, or you can also ask Siri to play specific songs or albums. The Photos app has a newly redesigned memory section with a new interactive interface, new animation and transition styles, and multiple image collages. There are also new memory types like international holidays, child focus memories, trends over time, and improved pet memories. In the Messages app, we get the same communication safety settings that we saw in iOS 15.2 that gives parents the ability to enable warnings for children when they receive or send photos that contain nudity. Communication safety is opt-in, privacy-focused, and must be enabled by parents. It is limited to the accounts of children with detection done all on device, and it's not the same as the anti-CSAM functionality that Apple still has in development. Legacy Contacts is also another feature available from 15.2 on iOS devices to macOS 12.1 that will allow you to designate people as a legacy contact so they can access your iCloud account and personal information in the event that you pass away. The TV app also received the same store tab update as iOS devices, allowing users to better locate content that you can buy or rent, like movies and TV shows. Also available in this update is Hide My Email, which is a feature for iCloud Plus subscribers that allow users to send mail with random email addresses instead, and you have replies forward back to your personal email account without having to disclose that email address if you don't want to. And these are just some of the changes found in this update. So be sure to check out the link in the description down below if you wanna see a full list of all the changes and features in macOS Monterey 12.1 update. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.